Hello, my name is Michael Saganov. I am audiology product manager of the Neurosoft company. And today we will talk about Neuro Audio Screen Manager software, which is used to manage the database of patients and test results recorded with Audio Smart and A Screen devices. The use of software is optional, but it gives you additional tools to manage the data. Using Neuro Audio Screen Manager software, you can perform the following actions. You can upload patients' lists to the device. You can download test results from device. You can review test results on the computer screen. You can generate and print test reports. And you can export the data to other PCs. For data exchange with audio smart device, uh, the wireless Bluetooth connection is used. And uh, first time, when we connect the device to the PC, we need to go to the Windows Bluetooth settings. We go to Start menu, Settings, Devices, uh, Bluetooth, and we need to turn it on if it was switched off. Then we click the plus button, select Bluetooth, uh, wait until the device search is finished, and we see already our device here, so we can click on it. Then we need to enter the PIN code, which is four zeros on the device, and click Done and OK. And then we need to enter the four zeros PIN code on the computer, and click Connect as well. So the device is ready to go, and it is paired to the computer. And now we can go to the Nero Audio Screen Manager software, and click uh, the button to download from device, click device selection, search for devices. After some time, we will see our device here with our serial number. And then uh, it is important to click on checkboxes uh, for automatic device discovery on program start and automatic connection to the selected device on start. And then we click Connect. Then we close these windows. And at the top panel of the window, we can see the status of the connection. So we can see that our device is connected with the serial number. And uh, the status is ready, so we are ready to work with it. And the main window will appear on screen. On the top of the window, there is a toolbar with buttons. Below it, there is a table with patients stored in the database. When you click on the selected uh, patient, uh, below it, on the bottom left uh, side, the table uh, with test results of this patient will appear. And when you select a specific test result, at the right-hand side of the window, uh, there will be detailed analysis uh, graphs and charts with test results for this patient. If you want to search for the specific patient, you can uh, sort the table of patients by clicking on the column header, like this, and they will be sorted by last name in this case. Or if you want to search for a specific last name, for example, you can type it in in the search field above, and the table with patients will be filtered down to only the patients containing this text string. To create a list of patients to upload to device, we need to click this button on the toolbar, Upload to device. Please point out that the arrow is pointing towards the device. Then, uh, in this window, we can uh, show untested patients, or we can show all patients in the database, or we can show only patients with refer results only. Additionally, we can add new patient right in this window. If we click this button, and enter some patient's details. Click OK. And you can see that this new patient is also added to the list of patient records for uploading to device. Uh, if we select uh, some patient uh, who already was in the database, we need to click the arrow uh, to add him or her to the list of patient records to upload. 
And by clicking on this arrow, we can remove the patient record from the list of to be uploaded patients. And when we are ready, we just uh, click the button Upload at the bottom right corner of the window and then close. As you can see, this patient was successfully uploaded to the device. Imagine that we went with the device to another room to test a baby. We performed a screening uh, hearing assessment and then we went back to the computer and want to download the data from the device. For this we need to click the button download from device on the toolbar. Please pay attention to the arrow pointing uh, from the direction uh, from the device. And when we click on it we see uh, there are several patient records and examinations in the device and some of them are new. This means they are not yet in the database on the computer. And also we can click uh, additional uh, checkboxes here to delete the downloaded patient records after successful download from the device and uh, to clear device memory after download as well. And then we need to click download button, see the progress of downloading and then we can close this window and we will see new patients added to the table of patients. For example, let's see uh, this patient and uh, his uh, results. Here we can see the downloaded test results. In addition to using Bluetooth for data transfer between the device and the computer, you can also use micro SD card. For this, you need first to insert the microSD card into the audio smart device, uh, then uh, perform the export of data by going to System Preferences, Database Settings, Export. Then you need to securely unmount or eject the SD card from the device. Then insert it into the card reader and connect to the computer. After this, in the Screen Manager software, you can click the button called import data from a database file with the micro SD card displayed. And then uh, in the list on the left hand side of the window, you need to select the drive corresponding to the card reader. Then select the NA screen data folder and select the file. Usually it is a single database file here. Click open and you can see that we have several imported patients and examinations to our database and you can see the test results. So this is the same examination we recorded previously on the device but imported in alternative way, not using Bluetooth but using the SD card. If test recording is done in the same room with the computer then there is a interesting feature uh, to automatically export data as soon as you record it on the device to the computer database at the moment when you save the test results on the device. So for this we need first to perform some test, for example DPOE on the audio smart device. Then we click uh, the button uh, save. So on the audio smart device you will see the message that expert completed successfully and then immediately after this on the computer in the Nero Audio Screen Manager software at the bottom right corner you will see a notification pop-up with the number of imported new patients and examinations. In the Nero Audio Screen Manager software there is a feature to generate and print test reports. So at first you select the patients and, and or test results which you want to print. Uh, if you select a patient then all the test results of this patient will be printed. And uh, also you can type in the comment here in this text field. For example let's write test which will also go into the report. So to actually generate the report you need to click the button print reports with the printer. In this uh, print preview window, you will be able to preview all the pages of your test report. 
Also, you can see the name of your hospital or clinic appears in the top part of the page or the header of the page. And at the top, you can print button to actually print using the printer. Uh, you can click this button to save to PDF and you can select the printer which you will use. And as you can see, at the bottom of the page here, you see the command which we entered before to the text field. To access the program settings, you need to click the button with a gear icon in the top right corner called Program Settings. There is a settings window with several tabs. Uh, I will cover General tab and the Database Settings. Uh, general, here you can set up the language of the software to use, the report settings, for example, to generate short reports or longer and more detailed reports. You can customize header and footer. For example, in the header, you can type in uh, the name of your hospital or clinic. And you can customize some other more advanced settings. In the database settings, you can uh, create a new database and choose it as default by clicking on this button. When you click OK, uh, you will see now that the tables were cleared. They are now empty with patients and exams because we switched to a new database. Also, we can choose another database to use. And uh, you can uh, set up the database uh, backup location and also customize uh, automatic database backups. To enable it, you need to check this button, this checkbox. And also, you can uh, set up when the automatic uh, backup will take place. For example, if you click this checkbox, it will backup automatically on every program exit. And if you uncheck it, you can customize the number of days after each the backup will be performed. And to restore from the database backup, you just need to click this button, Restore from the backup. To transfer the data from this PC, to another computer, uh, you can export it to JSON file or a file in a plain text format. Uh, first, you need to select patients which you want to export. For example, uh, you can select all of them by clicking uh, on the keyboard, uh, Ctrl A. Then you select the button, uh, export to JSON, click it. Enter the name of the file, let's say one, this one, save. And then uh, you can uh, click the button import from JSON on another computer in order to import the data from this JSON file. Another uh, feature of the software is the support for hospital information systems and integration with them. For example, in Germany and some other countries, the GDT format is used and you can customize this integration in the program settings on the GDT uh, tab. You will need to enable GDT message processing and you will need to customize GDT incoming messages folder and outgoing messages folder. And you have some other customization as well. Also, there is another feature to export statistical information uh, to the open uh, CSV format uh, in order to be able to import this file to, for example, Microsoft Excel or another spreadsheet program like LibreOffice. And uh, I will show you how to do it. Also, you will uh, need to select the patients. For example, we select them all. Click the button Export to CSV. Name the file, for example, to and click enter to save. The file will be exported to CSV format, which we can then open in any spreadsheet program. I will show just the export uh, I already have done, opened in the LibreOffice soft software for spreadsheets. And you can perform additional statistical analysis uh, for example, statistics based on the hearing screening, uh, pass and refer results for each test. During this video, I have demonstrated the main features of Nero Audio Screen Manager software. I hope this information was useful to you. Thank you very much for your attention. Goodbye.